Three simple ways to stop bad luck. Now, a lot of you have probably heard before that bad luck happens in threes, or for some people, in some cases, even more. But you should not actually apply any attention onto that because all truths are true, meaning if you believe it to be true, it will be true. Now today, it's time to break the pattern, and not only that, we will stop it from spiraling out of control. Instead, we're gonna shift it around so that it spirals in control, and then you can start manifesting the things that you do want in your life again. Uh, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, namaste to everybody. This is Sri Akashna here. And in this video, we're gonna break down for you three simple yet effective spiritual tools and steps that you can do to stop bad luck from happening. Now we're gonna dive straight into the first thing. A lot of you people are probably aware of this already is by using sage. So a lot of you can grab yourself a sage stick. Uh, it only costs a few dollars. You can grab it online. And if you sage the house, sage the environment, or even sage yourself, you are cleansing your aura. You will not have bad luck in your life if there was no bad energies or negative energies coming from you. And so that's why if you understand that we attract everything that we are, if we cleanse ourselves with sage, so just run the sage around you and you cleanse that aura. And if the bad luck is happening things to do with at home or at work, then you get the sage stick and you sage those areas where it's happening. So that's number one. You can use sage stick to cleanse the energies. The second thing is using fire to let go of negative and unwanted or disempowering energies. So what does this mean? It means if it's related to a certain situation, if the bad luck is just random, let's say, for example, if you are, um, I don't know, you lost your keys, then you, um, I don't know, you, 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 uh, your partner left you, or then you lost your job. If it's not linked, then it probably isn't um, very necessary. But this step is if the bad luck is happening, a sequence of events that is related to a particular topic. Let's say, for example, if all the bad luck is arising related to your relationship or related to your job, your career, then what you can do is you can check around you to see if you are holding on to any old items that hold old energies, not allowing these new energies to come in. So for example, if you are, let's say, in a new relationship and you're feeling like everything's bad luck, it's not working out well, it's probably because the old relationship energies are somewhere within your house or within your possession. Maybe in, maybe the purse, the wallet you carry, maybe the bag you carry, maybe the clothing you wear. Maybe you still have a ring at home that your ex-partner uh, bought for you, or maybe there's a letter from them. Now, what you can do with old energies, and the reason why, why it's important is because when old energies are still there and you're trying to bring new things into your life, Naturally, the old energies will repel the new things and stop the new thing from coming into your life. That's why you think it's bad luck, but it's not so. It's because the space is not clear. Once the space is clear, new things can come into your life. So if you take those items, you either give it away or a very effective way, if it, if it can burn in fire, is to open up a pot of fire and throw it in the fire so that it burns and it, the energy is recycled back into the universe. So that is one way you can do it. Another thing you can do with letting go using fire is you can actually write down the thing that is bugging you, the thing that is bringing you the bad luck that you, that you feel. You can write it down on a piece of paper and in the same way you feel that energy, you feel the negative energies and the bad luck that's happening and you throw that into the fire and you feel it disintegrate 
and it cleanses the energy and gets rid of it. So it will no longer hold power over you. Now, moving on to the final way. Point number three is to create the opposite affirmations. Okay, so what this means is, let's say, for example, if um, recently you've had a lot of bad luck with regards to money or career, then it means that, let's say it's scarcity mindset or money is leaving you or, or it's not working out or, or whatever the things that is exactly happening, you will write the exact opposite scripting as affirmations. So if money is keep slipping out and you're not making enough money and you're not getting a job promotion, then your affirmations is, I attract the biggest promotions in life. I always attract money my way. Money always comes to me and stays with me, right? So these are specific designed affirmations for you only in this particular situation, right? If it's to do with love, it's the same thing. If, if you're having uh, partners leave you and say you're not lovable or you're, you, you are too negative or whatever it is, then I am positive. I am lovable. You will write the exact opposite to everything that's been happening. And every single day, you will chant it. Maybe hang it on your wall so that you see it uh, in all areas of your house. You keep seeing it. It reaffirms that into your mind. Because remember, your mind Everything that happens in thought is what creates reality. So if you can stimulate that thought with the opposite of what you are attracting, which is the bad luck, then what will happen is it will shift the energies the other way and your life will take a 180 turn. Guys, if this video has been of use to you, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's the little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Ciao.